This is my lunch today. Um, this is a pork adobo leftover from my husband and his colleague's uh, lunch box. So I have the bones and I have one um, chicken feet from last night soup and I have boiled cabbage there. So yeah, today I don't have uh, dialysis. Today's Thursday. So I'm gonna eat this and I have to go down to the garden and I have so many things to do. I have to harvest the perilla, I have to dig the ground and plant the uh, spring onions and it's really cold, it's been very cold so I was always scared to go down to the garden and do some work but today I have to do it because if, when the frost hits I cannot do that anymore. So yeah, I'm gonna eat this hearty food <laughs> and I'll go down to the garden and work and I'll show you what I'm gonna do today. Guys, I'm down here at the garden. This is my pumpkin. They will sprout a little bit and then they'll go just rot. And it's just leaves, nothing else because it's too cold. And I plant some flowers there. And I plant some um, uh, mustard greens here. They're still small, but it's very cold. So I don't know how they're gonna develop. And this, is the whole thing that I have to do today. Oh gosh, it's so cold and there's no sun. I have to cut all this, put it in a bag and let them dry in the house because I need to plant my um, spring onions. So, oof, let's get started. I have two patch of perilla, like one here and over here. This are nothing just to scare the rodent they don't like this plant and I have some nagalasun in between and then I have some chilies there and I have another batch of parilla there and then I have some tomatoes there I need to cut everything today if I can Oof, very cold Okay guys, I'm done with one batch here. I cut all the perilla. I took out all the roots here. I'm gonna put that in a bag later and then my husband will help me throw that. So, this is how it looks like. It's not supposed to be this way. Everything is supposed to be dry like this with the black seeds inside. But some of the greens have already black seeds inside. And um, I have no choice. I'll just try it in the room. Some of them are still white, but that's okay. They won't come out even if they're dry when I shake them. So, yeah. We don't get enough sun here in this backyard, so they take a lot of time to get dry. But that's fine. I have lots from the uh, farm, right? Now I have one more there. That's what I'm going to do. And in this area, I'm going to plant some more um, here. I'm gonna plant some more um, hooger chives and then over here fish mint everywhere yeah that's what I'm gonna do it's not so cold anymore it's kind of getting warm a little bit because it's noon so yeah work <laughs> continue All done here too. Oh my gosh, I felt like my video is very blurry. To me it's a reflection of the sun. Okay, so this one, I gotta kill it because it's taking too much space. This one is called lemon balm, 
It smells exactly like El Shotzia, Lomba, but um, much more milder. Even when you eat it or when you add it in your cooking, very mild, but smells beautiful, beautiful, very easy to grow. They're growing everywhere from the seeds. And even if I kill this next year, they will be there, the seeds from the old seeds, yeah? So I'm gonna pick out all this. These are cayenne peppers from home. You see how different they are? Supposed to be bigger. Next year I'm gonna grow this in the poly house. And I have to pick all of them because it. that's it. It's very cold now. And we have to plant our uh, spring onion today. So I have to kill all these chilies too, yeah? This is done, and now I have to kill the tomatoes. It has some green tomatoes on it. I'm gonna pick all those things. Yep, oh gosh, I wish that I have back home. Uh, this is back home, so that the neighbors, <laughs> like I always say, these days I always need help because I'm not very healthy and I'm not very energetic anymore because of that. So I always need help, you know, but you know what, I'm going to do it slowly and make it happen. Yeah. Okay, guys, I pick all the veggies. These are cayenne peppers from home that Mimi gave me the seeds. Some chili balls and tiny chilies and arugula and down there I have some green tomatoes. And now this is how it looks like the garden. I'm not gonna kill those things because those are uh, maufade. What do you call that in English? Tomarillo. Uh, the weather is like not so cold right now, so I leave them there, and I will transfer them when it's very cold into a pot and try to grow it inside the house, and let's see whether they can grow or not. And these are eggplants. They're not gonna produce anymore, but they look so beautiful. So I am thinking about it. Just have to clean up the space. And I'm gonna go up to the house, get my uh, spring onion, and then plant it everything today. Because it's very warm right now, the sun is here. I am so excited and happy. All right, guys, I'm done with picking all the unnecessary stuff. <laughs> now I'm gonna dig out a little bit. There are still soft, the grounds. But I'm just going to take here and there, especially in the corner and on the edges. And we are going to plant the um, onion. My gosh, this side is so shiny, you can't, you can hardly see anything. Anyway, yeah. So I'm going to go up, get the onion. And then I'm going to ask my husband to call his father to bring me some manure for my garlic on the other side because that land on that side is not very good so yeah Oof. I have to go get garbage bag also for all this all right continue working yeah I'm gonna make like one two three maybe I can make four rows here I have a red one normally people over here grow only the white one but I like this one because, you know, I'm Asian. We love these kind of onions. So let's see how much I can plant today. And if I don't have enough onions, because I have one more line over there, place over there. And if I don't have enough, and if I cannot um, do everything today because I need to pick up all this, I don't know whether it's gonna rain tomorrow or not. So I have to pick them up. So yeah, let's see, yeah. And the good thing about spring onion is that they just, they're just so resilient, you know? Snow, frost, they just stay inside. So that's a beautiful thing. So this is what we always grow when the winter comes. All right, let's get started. Guys, I don't like complaining, but I'm tired. I'm really tired. Now this is the after. I collect all the garbage. Parilla is upstairs, garbage is done. And over here I plant the onions. 
and I have to put the sticks because the cats like to come and poop over here if I dig out some ground and this small space I'm gonna leave it like this this little space next spring I'm gonna plant some uh, green peas and this one I still have space here to plant more spring onion but I think I don't have enough so I'm not gonna plant this today because I might not remember how much I have planned and how many how much space left so after cleaning everything all I have to do now is over here I will transfer some um, hooker chives half will be fish mint half will be hooker chives that's what I'm gonna do yeah to have more exotic vegetables because they're so easy to grow and this part I leave it like this because I have here naga chives, naga uh, lasun. So I'll think about this when their seeds are ready. I can use this one, so I'm gonna leave them this way. Anyway, they survive frost. They're okay in the frost, so I don't have to worry about them. Yeah. Now I'm gonna transplant some fish mint and cougar chives. Garden's looking good. Looking clean and beautiful. Now we're gonna take hooker chives from here, which I have plenty, and they need space to develop. If they don't have space, their roots are so small, you know. But if they are like they have a lot of space, then the roots become so much bigger. And these are the fish mint. Look at them; they need space. So they don't look healthy because they don't have enough space. So I'm going to take out from here and then transplant over there. Yeah? Alright. One of the bus drivers just passed by. So nice. This is not a stopping place but he stopped for them. Anyway, here. This is what I picked out. Oh my gosh, the ground is so sticky that it's very hard for me to tear them apart. This is what I'm going to plant. I took off the leaves because if I transplant them, they are not going to survive. So these are the fish mints. Look how unhealthy they are. They're supposed to be very fat at this time, you know. It's for it's time for roots, not for leaves. So what do I do with these leaves? They're so hard. They're not even like... Ugh. It smells good, but it's hard to chew. So I think I'm going to take off all the leaves, yeah? Because they're gonna rot anyway. It's just the roots, yeah? Yung je, je. Think na anai kui sarao rei na. Kui sarao rei mo shai pam na wo. Hao ti mo sam da mo rei gong rong ei niang. Je na yi ba yi wo. Anai kui sarao sa dek sarao ei ge. Ang yung mang ju pu mao ra. I was just saying I'm gonna cut off all the leaves and then just bury it all the uh, plant all the roots inside buried it inside yeah for the winter i'm done with that over there with the fish mint and then over here this is the last one last line for the hooker chives and i'm gonna plant this and i'm done for today the one over there the land i don't have enough um spring onion so i'm gonna do that maybe tomorrow or in a weekend so yeah this is my last one this little girl here just coming to say hi all the time let's see ciao. ciao she came always to say hi to bella bella yeah so yeah I'm gonna finish this up and then go up. A look at my hand. Should I be Look at this. She's telling me a lot of things that I don't understand, and we just smile at each other. <laughs> she always come to say hello to Beba, uh, to Bell. So that's it, guys. I'm done for the day. It's been raining and so cold windy i couldn't go down guys i i haven't even bought the onion yet but then we have to shake our uh, perilla like this in the room in the other room we hardly use this room anyway 
We use this room mostly like if guest comes, we clean it up, or else we just plant some saplings here, especially in the um, April time, like uh, spring time. So yeah, this is how we get. I use a lot of stuff <laughs> to make this. So we're gonna shake this off, but first we're gonna eat dinner. I'm cooking uh, beans and oxtail that my neighbor uh, grandma gave me. So we have two bags. Those two are like from the garden. They are still young, and that's my husband's piano that he's practicing. So yeah. Let's eat first, yeah? Guys, I'm back down here at the garden to finish my unfinished business. So, I got the onion. My husband got it for me. Oh, it's so cold, you guys. So I have here leftover of the red onion. And we have this yellow one. I'm gonna make here like four rows, I think. Yeah, it's been raining for a couple of days, so I couldn't do it, but I'm here today. So let's plant some onion. So I made two rows over here, babe, and I plant red onion. Now here. What's that red? No, the Asian red onion. Oh, red onion there. Uh -huh. okay. Now we can cover this one. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, my heart. More, 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 baby. No, 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 da, da, da. <laughs> okay, okay. Now we need to make the last row. My uh, red ones are bigger. And the last time I bought from the parable uh, for cable is bigger also. We're putting here a little bit of manure, goat manure, and I'm gonna leave it like for a week and then I'll plant the garlic here. Mm -hmm. This ground is not good. Hey, Desi! Yeah, we have got the garlic. Sedi, 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 I did Gucci. Perso, bebo, Gucci. Vidimo se. Ciao. All done, guys. And it's getting dark. Our neighbor lady has cooked lunch for us again. But I will take only the soup and I have fish. I'm gonna cook my fish for dinner. And eat rice that I have left over from yesterday. Should I take some leaves for my fish? I'm gonna go throw this uh, leaves into the trash can. Okay. Which leaf? Like yeah, yes. Where is the other leaf? Inside. Do that. Put it right there. Oh, okay. Okay, bye, baby. Yeah. Let me take some chives. This is how much we get perilla this year. Last year was a little bit uh, more, like one full of this and then half of the other container like this. But we have two more bags from the garden, so we'll see. Yeah? But this is enough. This is my dinner. My husband already ate at uh, grandma's house. Soup, beef soup. So this is my dinner I have here fish and then potato and then the uh, dal and uh, brinjal and kobe boiled that's gonna be my uh, dinner my husband is trying to play piano <laughs> thanks so much for watching everybody see you next time bye